Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry if it's kind of repetitive, but we have some new stuff from Ferris Wheel Press that I kind of want to share with you and I think you might enjoy it. I don't have an unboxing because this all came with some stuff that I could can't show you at the time. So for now, this is what we have, but basically this is part of their collaboration with the... Um, which which is it with the Ginza Tutaya I think with the Ginza Tutaya 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 I don't know so uh, I'll write it down here so basically this is a Japanese collaboration so we have the name of the ink in uh, in like kanji I think that's what you call it and you have three colors three colors in this collaboration and it was randomly chosen and <laughs> I got the pink. So it has a teal with kind of gold sparkles, a very nice browny color, which reminds me very much of like leather bound books. Then we have this stunning Morning Glory Go Glow. Oh my God. Cannot speak today, my gosh. And basically it's a light pink with sparkly sparkles when I'm kind of excited. And then we have a new brush fountain pen, which is very sexy. I have two fountain pens by them by now, um, one normal like fountain pen, brush fountain pen and then a new carousel pen. These are satin finished, so they're very sexy to touch. And I did uh, ask for the lady in rose color because I just, I'm a sucker for that color. Ooh, this is so soft, like, oh, you cannot have like feel vision, but ooh, this is, <laughs> I just want to do this. <laughs> I'll go grab the other one in a sec, but you can definitely see the feel of it if that makes even sense like See the feel like you can see it's smoother So to say it's just uh, like satin. It's exactly what it is. It's quite smooth It closes and opens exactly the same way. It's like a little screw top and I got mine in a fine, I always get mine in fine, mostly because I use these to draw as well, so I just prefer to have them in fine. I can never show you the clips of this, but I'll show you on my phone in a second. It can, it does a better job at capturing the small details. Everything else is the same except the finish of the pen, so I'm quite excited to try this ink with it. This is so freaking cute, I'm so excited and it's, it's so nice to hold since it's like satin so i'm going to keep it in the little pouch for now i love these boxes and i i never threw away a single like packaging from ferris wheel press which is becoming a problem since i do have a lot of stuff from them even the box is kind of satin which is quite nice okay i do want to move on to the ink especially because i am losing kind of sunlight absolutely stunning it has butterflies it's so so pretty uh, it does have like little birds and morning glories here, flowers, more little birdies, I think it's a duck, butterflies, and it says expand your collection of wondrous inks with this second collaboration to celebrate Ginza's Tsutaya 5th anniversary. And then it has more sparkles, yeah, it has, and then has the same spiel in Japanese. And has a little sparkly rabbit a little sparkly rabbit so i'm quite excited so this is their 38 size mill it's pretty much my favorite size of there oh it also has a little hot air balloon and a little butterfly here as just the barcode oh let's go i'm so ready for this <gasps> This should not be this pretty. It just shouldn't. It's it's not fair. It just it sh it has no freaking right being this pretty. Are you seeing this? Like girl. <laughs> who who told you you could? Who said you could? No one. Look oh, look at that. There's a bubble that's just going crazy. Wow. That is just so stunning though by the way this isn't blood this is ink i'm not hurt <laughs> just messy oh it's so pretty and also has here in japanese wow 
I need some close-ups with my phone. This is absolutely stunning. Ah, oof, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, okay. I will be jumping to some swatches in a sec and yeah, we're going to try and have some fun with these two. Uh, I'm not sure if this is like really visible for a drawing. We'll see how it is. I'll try my best. <laughs> Okay, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so starting with the swatches, I didn't do that much swatching this time since it was a single color. This, this is just so pretty. I just, I was obsessed with doing this, just like swishing the brush because the color completely changes with the amount of glitter it has. Like Ferris wheel press inks usually are pretty tame when it comes to glitter, but boy, this one is packed with it. It's quite impressive actually. <laughs> I went to check their older collaboration and they were they were a bit different, the colors were a bit darker. I much prefer this whole collaboration they did this time. The colors are much lighter and just more airy. I just enjoy them a lot more. And I am extremely pleased with this color. <laughs> the pen, it's pretty much the same as the other ones. So I didn't have to do a lot of experimenting. I do enjoy the feel of the satin. I end up just grabbing it and just kind of fiddling with it most of the times because it's really, really nice to use since i did ask for a fine the uh, glitter does not come through that much that's why i ended up using a lot a dip pen a glass dip pen just so i could show more the sparkle drawing kind of do draw this in your style it's been a while since i did one and i decided to do this one by gamuru hime on over on instagram she's a fantastic artist she's spanish actually so it's really nice she, she, that she's actually my neighbor <laughs> she had like a little peony fairy which i thought was absolutely fitting for this drawing since i only had pink and in the beginning i was really thinking i would need to grab some other uh, pink darker colors to be able to just make this drawing work but turns out it wasn't necessary this actually goes pretty dark not super super dark but dark enough that i can do a line art and still be visible the ink does kind of doesn't shift to another colors but shifts to another hues which i found very pretty and I really, really enjoyed it. And so it was really, really nice. I had a lot of fun using this ink. It was pretty just chill. Uh, it was very quick drawing as well. And I'm quite pleased with it. I'm quite happy how it turned out. The sparkles are so much that I ended up having like a sparkly palm by the end of the drawing because I was just dragging my hand to the paper through the paper. So yeah, I don't remember this happening with any other inks, but honestly, this might be one of the more sparkly inks I've ever seen from them. I might be completely wrong, but it just packs a punch and it's really, really visible on the ink. It might be because it's a lighter color, but geez, it's just so much, but I love it. It's it's truly gorgeous. I am completely in love with it and so so happy to have it in my collection which if you if you catch the clip where i pull out the ink from the drawer it's getting a bit out of control and uh, i i do have to find a better solution for it because yeah it's it's a lot and there's like full size like 80 millimeters in the bottom so it's not the most practical thing when i want to reach some other inks so <laughs> it's not the best So this was a pretty sweet and short video since it was only one ink but 
yeah i have to say this one is absolutely gorgeous and i just want to thank as usual fairy press for sending me these goodies if you want to support me on my creative journey and also save up a little bit you can always use the code babishkoart10 it'll also help me out a lot and i always appreciate it as always please subscribe leave a like and leave a comment down below just let me know if what do you think of this ink i absolutely love it and i'm quite surprised that it went to such a dark value that I was able to do a proper drawing just with it. I'm quite happy and pleased with that, that I was able to just use one ink. I'm going to leave you with various shots of the sparkle so you can enjoy it with all glory. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.